So today we're going to look at the yogurt function in the Philips all-in-one system. The yogurt system is super easy for really, really effective results. You can actually change the types of milk that you use. You can actually change the types of additives that you put in. So you can put fruit, you can put jam, you can put vanilla bean, you can be putting essences, or you can simply make plain style yogurt and add to it later to create the flavors that you like. So we'll start with the basic recipe that you're getting in the recipe book. This for me is fantastic. Some people have said though they like a much thicker Greek style yogurt. So to create that thickness, if you wish, you'll need to add a little bit of yogurt starter culture as well as the milk and regular yogurt to kick that yogurt process off. So you can buy yogurt culture starter in some supermarkets. You can absolutely get it at most health food stores. Um, and your, normally one bag will create about 100 litres of fresh homemade yogurt. So it's use it sparingly. They're teeny tiny little granules. Keep them in the freezer after you've opened the packet in an airtight container. And you'll have fresh homemade yogurt for a long, long time. So here's how simple it is. Remove the lid. Now your milk, we're using one litre today. The recipe book does say two litres, but I'm halving the batch. The milk has to be at room temperature, as does the yogurt, the starter yogurt. So when we talk about room temperature, we're talking about ambient room temperature. So it needs to be above eight degrees. So if you're living in a very cold climate and it's a wintry uh, condition, make sure that that milk is more than eight degrees or else the culture isn't going to start that fermentation process in that yogurt pot. So pour the milk in, a whole litre, and the starter that I'm going to use today is some ready-made yogurt that I've already made. So that's my culture. That's got the bacteria that's going to grow and create that yogurt through the heating process that we're doing in this system. So I'm just going to add this straight in there. Now, if I was looking for a much thicker, a lot denser than what I've created, I would need to add some powdered milk. And the recommendation is half a cup of powdered milk for that, consist for that uh, amount of milk and yogurt. So if you're using one litre, you add a half a cup of powdered milk. If you're using two litres, it would be a whole cup of powdered milk. And then you get that really luscious, thick Greek style yogurt. If you're using coconut milk or soy milk, you will need to add sugar as well as yogurt culture starter. Now, the sugar is usually all burnt out through that fermentation process, so it's got very little carbohydrate left, but the, the bacteria needs the sugar to make the soy milk or the non-dairy milk, the soy milk uh, or the rice milk, turn into that thick style yogurt. Otherwise, it'll be runny, it'll be like water. So make sure if you're using non-dairy milk, add some sugar. A tablespoon is usually all you need. Also, Add some yogurt culture starter, couple of granules. You know, it is it is such a tiny amount. Read the instructions of the packet, and normally it's like a pinch of salt. Add that in there. Pop the lid on. Go to the yogurt function, which is just on the side here. It automatically goes default to eight hours. I like to increase it to the 12 hour time zone. So cooking time, adding nine, 10, 11, 12, and then press the start button. That's all we need to do. Leave it and in 12 hours time, the magic will happen. When you open up that lid, this is what has been created. So this is my yogurt that I put on last night. It's cooked overnight, it's cooked into today, and I've got this beautiful, thick, luscious, really gel-like uh, uh, texture, really velvety. Um, and I jar it up and I add to it what I want at that point. So if I want some cinnamon, I'll add a little bit of cinnamon, if I want some fresh fruit, I'll put some fresh fruit or some frozen fruit in with it or a little bit of homemade jam uh, stirred through or some homemade granola. So I always make mine as a plain style of yogurt and add to it to make it how I want it afterwards. So that the, the batch is always there as the starter culture for my next lot as I'm going through it. So with the ongoing yogurt making process, keep a little jar or a little airtight type container of this starter culture, because this is your now your starter culture, this yogurt, in the freezer so that if you don't have any fresh yogurt in the fridge, you can just take out your little container, pop it in there, obviously defrost it and have it at room temperature with your milk and away you go. So you've always got that starter culture ready to kick off the next fresh batch.